let's discuss the scientific writing style the first tip is the length of the sentence usually it is suggested that uh, the sentence uh, the sentence length should be 15 or 20 words but i will suggest that your sentence shouldn't increase the 15 words because when your sentence increase in length it increase the 15 words then reader will not be understand what you want to say they will be exhausted uh, they will feel bored and they will leave your paper the, your article uh, which you want to explain therefore you should use the uh, optimum length of the sentence and to try not to increase the 15 words the second tip is the using the flexibility of english language english is a flexible language it allow you to change the order of the sentence the order of the words for example you can say that i'll help you if you help me or you can say if you help me i'll help you so you have to use these words uh, according to your choice according to the requirement of the paragraph according to the requirement of their environment so that you may emphasize on any specific events on any specific uh, 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 environment on any specific words the third one is the third tip is english is written in a two way the first one is the yes minister language and the second one is the their mum language yes minister means that this is officially writing this is a technical writing and uh, the second one their mum means that we are writing the daily routine words the daily routine speaking words uh, in our writing definitely when we write the scientific writing or when we write the technical or the scientific report this means that we have to follow some pattern we have to use uh, some specific words surely you uh, we should use the specific words which are required we should use we should use the yes man nestle language where it is particularly needed but in the explanation we should use plain language we should use uh, their mum language because this will attract the people this will attract the reader and they will uh, feel uh, this text about their self they will be hooked with the re uh, with the paragraph with the text and they will read this text therefore always use the plain language decent language daily routine life words so uh, it may easy may be easy well may be easy for the reader to understand it the next tip is capitalization definitely it is very important uh, in writing uh, if you uh, uh, check it from grammatical perspective or we check it in the professional writing perspective this is very necessary the capitalization we have to focus we have to check the capitalization uh, that either we are following the capitalization rule and secondly if we are using the abbreviation is it in a capital have we explained it uh, in our article and uh, if we are writing in informal way then it doesn't mean that we have to uh, capitalize every uh, noun for example it is not needed to capitalize the government written everywhere this will not look uh, beautiful and uh, this also distract the, the reader it is usually suggested that uh, using the pronoun especially uh, the first and second pronoun in a writing in a scientific or in, in any reports is uh, not usually suggested or it is not liked but the literature shows that when we when we use the first or second pronoun in our writing this hook the reader they catch the reader and the reader uh, 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 think that this this article is about their self it is about uh, uh, the reader so they uh, read the article they remain with this paragraph and they uh, uh, hook with this article uh, and read it at all the next tip is the use of activists and passivists though both are suggested for scientific uh, scientific uh, technical or in, in the formal writing but uh, in a passive way this is usually not suggested and there are some reason 
if you are writing in a passive way and you have to write in the passive way because you may need it to write in the passive way then you have to avoid the one uh, uh, characteristics which passive has provide that it provide uh, it hides some information for example you can say that your letter is processed but who processed this later? I want to meet this person. I want to ask some question to this person. This sentence, the passivist is not going to provide such like information. So to get, uh, to provide these details to the reader, because in the scientific or in the formal writing, you are not going to hide any things. Therefore, the passivist is not suge suggested. But we need it. We write in the passivist sometime, but we have to uh, uh, we have we don't uh, we shouldn't hide some information uh, from the reader always use your own style always use your own words always use your own voice uh, uh, to write when uh, actually we, we write according to our nature but some trainings some suggestions uh, and uh, some discussions change our writing style when we write in our own style this will enhance our writing this will look like a professional and this will add a beauty to our writing thank you so much we were discussing some other tips about writing especially in the next video we are going to discuss that how we can write numbers in a best way in research in a scientific or in a formal way thank you so much for watching